What's up, Wealth Nation? Let's talk about how to create a millionaire mindset starting today. My name is Carmen, and if you notice, I am solo today. My sidekick and husband, the amazing Darius Britt, is not with me today. He's out of town, but we decided as a team for me to continue to uh, pump content out on the Wealth Nation channel so that we can continue serving you. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about something that is very near and dear to my heart, because as you know, Darius and I always talk about ways to to create, save, and make more money, right? So what we tend to overshadow sometimes is the process of how we do that and how it can be greatly affected by what we think about. So the two points that I wanna cover today are things that we learned throughout our personal development journey that really changed our mindset, obviously, but, but really change the game for us as far as how we move forward and how we keep things moving. So the very first point is actually from Mr. T. Har Becker, and, and he is the author of the, the Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And one point that just strongly stood, stood out to Darius and myself is that roots create the fruits. Now, just think about it for a second. If you were a tree, <laughs> would you eat the fruit off of your tree? I don't know. That's only for you to determine. When Darius and I read this quote, we wouldn't eat the fruit that we were currently bearing from this hypothetical tree, right? And it was because we weren't happy with where we were in life, regardless if it was our health, our happiness, or our wealth, for example, we weren't happy with where we were. And it's easy to play the blame game and think that, you know, everything else is the, the reason for why you aren't happy or successful, uh, the, whatever success means to you. But really it's about the results that you're getting are determined by the actions that you're taking. All right, I don't know if you guys hear me today, but I'm gonna break this down. And this is all throughout the the, the book that T. Harbecker wrote. So the, the things that I wanna talk about first is your programming. Darius and I have talked about on a previous video before where we were talking about our different programming sets that, that we've been taught from birth. Darius had a more scarcity mindset uh, from birth and I had a more abundant, but I'd say more reckless abundant uh, mindset. And so as we got married, we had to figure out how to bridge the gap so that we could be better for each other, we could be better as individuals, and so that neither of us was hindering the, the forward mo um, uh, progress that we were trying to make with within our wealthy lives or, or this journey that we were trying to take. So first thing is your programming, determining what is the programming? What have you been taught? And what about those things that you've been taught are holding you back? Is there anything that's holding you back from becoming your best self? And if that is, you need to explore it. You need to unpack it because a lot of it can be really affecting what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So moving forward from your programming are your thoughts, right? So if you're thinking, if you've been taught a certain way on how to think or even believe in things, that's going to affect the thoughts that you have. And those thoughts are then going to affect the feelings that you have about specific topics, which are then going to affect the actions that you take, which then is the ultimate result, the results that you get. <laughs> no pun intended, right? The results that you get on a day-to-day -day basis are based off of the programming that you have, the thoughts that you are currently thinking, the feelings that you have about those thoughts and the actions that you're taking. So we can't ever blame anyone else besides ourselves because all of this is happening within our own internal system. Now, what Darius and I talk about all the time is creating your own banking system. And if you are not happy with the financial results that you're currently getting, that's going to affect your banking system. And so that's why for us, we're always like, pump your brakes, don't get involved in a banking system until you clear the slate, clear the deck, and go fix your programming before you get into the system so you don't end up wrecking the system. So that's why today I felt that it was so important for us to just take a moment and talk about mindset because when we believe that we can be successful, that's going to change the thoughts, the feelings, and the actions that we take. 
So just think about that. That's the one point that I want to cover today from uh, The Secrets of a Millionaire Mind, which is one of my favorite books that I continue to read because I get something different from it every time that I read it. Now, um, the next point that I'm going to jump into, um, but but really quickly, is just sharing uh, a little bit about the, the background on how we got to this point. When Darius and I realized that we don't want to eat the fruit off of our own tree, we tried to figure out why. Why is that happening? So, you know, between talking to friends and family, between talking to therapists, between doing a whole bunch of personal development, we realized that, again, the, the results that we were currently getting was because of the actions that we were taking. So with our current life, with our lifestyle at the time, we were both in corporate America. And for us, this is our story, um, not throwing any shade anywhere else, For but for our story, we weren't happy with what we were doing. We didn't like that we had to ask permission to do anything. We didn't like that we had to punch a clock and had to show up at specific times. And at the end of the day, we didn't like trading our time for money because everywhere we looked, we realized that we were confined to a box and that kept us from creating and, and kept us from becoming our best self in the sense of, of just unlimited potential and unlimited growth because we were always capped with our um, our income we were always capped as far as the employment right because you're it's what whatever you try to apply to have that there, there's only so many uh, spots that are available and we just didn't like being in a constricted environment so when we realized that okay this is the current result that we have well how can we reverse engineer this whole process to figure out what can we do to become a, a a business owner. Now, before we became a business owner, we were very much self-employed and self-employed meaning we were punching our own clocks, so to speak. We were trading time for money still. And we realized because we got a business didn't mean that we were all of a sudden free or that our results were going to change. No, we just changed ownership, meaning we were the ones who were responsible as opposed to our boss. So as I'm leading into this, for those of you who know that the cash flow quadrant that Robert Kiyosaki talks about, I'm, I'm alluding to this. So when we think about the quadrant, and I'm going to put this on the screen for those of you who aren't familiar with it, but but in the top left-hand corner, when you see the cash flow quadrant, you'll see employee. And when we look at this, uh, well, well, first of all, the reason why this is important for you to know is because if you are going through a similar journey or a similar undertaking that Darius and I went through, this visual changed our perspective on our lives because it's so simply just told us exactly what it was that we needed to do. So going back to the quadrant, on the top left-hand corner, you'll see employee. An employee is somebody who has a job. And again, nothing wrong with that, but just looking at the visual of where you are. So I want you to pinpoint where you are today on this quadrant and where do you want to be. So just right underneath the, the employee quadrant, you'll see self-employed. Right. So Darius and I got uh, became business owners. We started investing in real estate and we very much owned our job. So we were trading our time for money and we were still unhappy with the life that we were living because we didn't have the freedom of time and the freedom of money that we were seeking. So we were still scrambling and trying to figure out what could we do? Was it better that we were reporting to ourselves? Absolutely. But was it any better that we were still trading time for money? No. So then we got introduced to the cash flow quadrant and Robert Kiyosaki and we started realizing, okay, now we need to create systems. We're almost there, but we just need to create systems that will allow us to own that business so that we can then hire people to manage the system for us. So business ownership you'll see is the top right hand corner of this quadrant. And depending on again, where you are and where you want to be in this quadrant, you have a visual so that you can understand the path that you need to take on how to move forward. So right underneath business owner, you'll see investor. An investor is someone who we should all aspire to be because that means our money is working for us. And that's something that I know Darius says all the time on the channel. He's always talking about how are you making your money work for you? And if you're new to the Wealth Nation channel, uh, welcome. Darius and I talk about how to use whole life insurance to finance your own source of funding. And, and the reason why we talk about this is because when you think about the bank, or any other ways that you're getting money, they 
own the system. So why can't we figure out how to own the system so that we can control how our money is being made? And at the end of the day, the money will end up working for us. So when we think about business for, for Darius and I, when we set up everything for ourselves, it was very much creating uh, a business ownership that will allow us to be investors. But then at the same time, as it relates to our money, what were we doing and how could cre we could create a system that we owned that someone else wasn't owning so that we could then take more ownership and create more freedom for ourselves when it, re when it relates to time of money, or excuse me, when it relates to freedom of time and freedom of money. Now, the cash flow quadrant, again, is something that is super, super important to Darius and I. And also, I know it's very important to the Wealth Nation family because we are all aspiring to have a specific level of freedom, whatever that means in your life. And the reason why I wanted to share these two points with you today is because I felt like when you are out trying to figure out how can I do better with my money? How can I make more money? How can I become an investor? How can I educate myself? You have to start taking responsibility for the actions that you're taking because you're achieving a certain result. And if you aren't happy with the result that you're getting today, it's because of the roots. It's because of the system that's already in place. So what do you need to start doing today that is going to change the system so that you can start bearing better fruit? And sometimes it helps to understand the process and know where you are as it relates to the quadrant and where you want to be so that everything can continue to work uh, intertwined. Because a lot of times, or, or actually how, how it works is money affects everything. And if we aren't happy uh, because of relationships or because of our health or because of our wealth or whatever the case may be, sometimes it's directly affected to our income. Because if we aren't uh, making enough money, sometimes we feel constricted. We, we can't do the certain things that we want. We can't hang out with people. We can't do this and we can't do that because of our income. So how, again, can we start changing the actions that we're taking? How can we start surrounding ourselves with better people, with, with better inputs? And when I say inputs, I mean, what are the things that you're hearing? What are the things that you're seeing that are negatively affecting your progress in life? So Wealth Nation, with this information, what can you start doing to take stock? and to take ownership again of the things that you're doing. Because again, when you are looking at how do I change certain things, sometimes it's not about just changing whatever it is that you want. You have to back up again, reverse engineer that whole system and figure out how did I get here in the first place. And when we think about your money, again, you have to make sure that you're saving money, that you're smart with your money, that you're paying yourself first, because that ultimately is the start of this whole system that is going to determine and the results that you're going to get, which will determine the future actions that you'll be able to take as it relates to investing, making more money and creating wealth for your family. So I hope that this information was helpful for you today, that you can take some of this information and do something with, because when we talk about owning your own lifestyle on the Wealth Nation, it's about every facet of your life and not just monetary. So if you're not happy with your health right now, again, your income is going to affect that because you have to spend money on medical bills. You have to spend money on organic produce, whatever it is. So you have to make sure that you have a system in place that is generating enough money for you so that it can contain it, so that it can contain your health, your wealth, and your happiness. So Wealth Nation, remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else or something will.